discrimination that defines you know uh, America's early years still is a uh, a powerful force in the country today. Whether we have legalized um, disenfranchisement under slavery or Jim Crow laws, uh, laws about segregation, um, we have uh, different ways of different disenfranchising people um, through, uh, say, closing voting places and minority neighborhoods, um, not funding, underserving, uh, uh, schools in, in poor neighborhoods and in black neighborhoods. Um, so the, the, power, the powerful will always abuse uh, the less powerful. Uh, it's what made America great. And, and so much of American history and world history is unfortunately uh, predicated on that dynamic. Oh, um, I don't think we have much of a role. I mean, I, I write to figure out something about myself or the world, you know, depending on the book, and hopefully people come along for the ride. Um, but I don't think that uh, novels are as central to the culture as they should be. Um, I think the world would be a better place if people read more poetry, more fiction, nonfiction. Um, but it doesn't work that way. Some people say write every day. Uh, it seems like a real imposition on my time. So uh, if I can do eight pages a week, I'm pretty happy. And it could be two on Monday and one on Thursday and then catch up on the weekend. But eight pages a week, you know, it adds up. After a month, you have like 30 something pages. After a year, you have uh, 400 pages. It's, you know, writing a novel is such a long enterprise that if I feel I'm making headway, I feel glad. Um, I work, I'm not a cafe writer, I work at home. You know, I write a page, weep for an hour, write another page, take a nap, eat a sandwich. Um, so I like working at home, uh, mostly for the accessibility of, of, of naps. The Nickel Boys takes place in a reform school for juvenile offenders in the 1960s. Uh, I followed two students, one a um, very idealistic boy named Elwood who gets sent there through a sort of accident of justice. He's been inspired by the civil rights movement uh, that he's uh, grown up watching uh, and thinks he can change the world. The other boy is Turner who's an orphan and has had to survive uh, through his wits and is less optimistic about the possibility of social change. So once. I get these two boys into my fictional school, the Nickel Academy. Uh, the philosophical debate uh, between them becomes the heart of the book. 